What is going on guys? We're here at Oni Studios. We're going to be taking a quick tour and also looking at our past history. We know both companies have grown tremendously. I'm also going to be taking a wild guess of how much each of these items cost because you never know. We're looking for a new warehouse, obviously. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to see when you come into the Oni Studios facility is a basketball hoop. I know Cypher wanted a full court basketball hoop, but this is what he got. All right, guys, we make our way to the sound stage where this is a very versatile room. They've had different events like a D&D party here recently. Uh, again, as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility. They can change it up to whatever set they want. Jesse, what do you think something like this cost? Something like this? Ah, just the room alone? I would say, what, at least 15,000? I think you're a little low, but let's keep it moving. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so next up is the flex office space area. Um, as you can see, another versatile area and all sorts of business could be done here. So next up is Cypher's gym. As you can see, he's got all sorts of gear in here. Anything from bench press, legs, squats. I mean, he can do pretty much anything. He also has a stream station over here, which is pretty cool. So he does a lot of streams from this room while he's working out as well. So making content in any space, essentially, when it comes to the Oni Studios. Jesse, how much do you think all this stuff costs? Altogether, I'm gonna say 30K. Oh, and when are we getting in our warehouse? Soon, new warehouse. <laughs> all right, guys, so next up we have the photo room. Here they take various headshots for people that work with the company. Also, as you guys all know, Cypher PK has his own apparel company called Metal Umbrella. A lot of good stuff coming out of this room. All right, so next up we have the stream pods. This allows content creators to use these while they're visiting Oni Studios. They can make their own content. As you can see in this room, they set them up really nicely with some nice backdrops. Obviously you have the Oni Studio sign as well. Oh, and also there might be something here Matt might like, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm stealing that. Now my favorite part, the kitchen. I love to cook and this kitchen is beautiful. If I had this facility myself, I would be doing a lot of cooking streams here. This is gorgeous, as you all can see. Plenty of space for all the team members here and for anybody that's visiting as well. Okay, quick thought. How much do you think a kitchen like this would cost? A kitchen like this? This is easily probably 40,000. Kitchens are very expensive. That's my guess, especially like a fridge like this, for example. That fridge alone is probably like 6K, if not more. All right guys, so next up is the Metal Umbrella Room. As you guys see, they have all their apparel here as well. They do a lot of designs, a lot of sketching here in this room as well. Uh, Matt, would you would you want some of the, one of these things or? Uh, yeah, I definitely think I can grab a thing or two from here. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Metal Umbrella does some crazy apparel. Uh, as you guys have seen them on social media, they kill it. Um, but yeah, definitely a really nice room as well. All right, so now let's go upstairs to the second floor where the real action happens. Let me show you this. I know it's a bat, but come in real quick. Where are you taking me, Jesse? Let me, let me show you, boss. Come here. Look at this. This is a secret room within a bathroom. How sick is this? You got an arcade, you got a little desk set up as well. Curved TV. Show one of the Samson ones. But yeah, little secret gaming room. Right to the bathroom. All right, on the second floor, there's more offices, but there's actually a really cool room I wanna show you. Come this way. So here in the podcast rooms, you guys see it has a really nice backdrop. We actually used this room about a year ago when we were visiting Austin, Texas. Last time, they let us use it for our own podcast, and this is the main reason why Oni Studios exists, is so that way creators can use these types of space. All right, so while that room was really cool, there are some memories that are coming back to me now. This sword here, I can't quite put my hand on it, but something happened with this sword a while ago. Now I'm gonna be honest, this room is probably my favorite room out of the whole entire facility. As you can see, it's a full green screen room. The cool thing about this place is just endless possibilities. I can be in space. I can be in the desert. I can be pretty much anywhere, literally sooner. You want to decide where I'm at? Let's go for it, do it. I don't know where I'm at right now, but I'm somewhere. 
Jesse, how much do you think they put in this room? This room, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say probably around the twelve to $15,000 range. Okay, I can see that. All right, so the moment you all have been waiting for, the best room in the whole entire studio is Cypher PK's office. Uh, this is where he streams from. As you guys see, there is a lot of work that has been put into this room. I still remember back in the day when I came over here for the first time back in 2019, Daniela and Cypher both telling me uh, about their dream about building out a studio. And as you can see, they put in a lot of work into this area. Uh, just amazing, amazing floor plan is what they did with Cypher. All right, so of course, last room, last question. How much do you think they spent on this? I'm not even gonna answer that, because honestly, I don't know. There's just so, so much going on in here. Uh, it looks phenomenal. I mean, I don't know, Panda, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna guess either, because that is not safe to try to come up with a number, because this is easily the most expensive room in this entire studio. I so, agree. one more question for you, Jesse. What's your favorite piece in this office? Because there's some pretty cool stuff here. Yeah, let me show you. I would honestly say this back wall right here is probably my favorite of the whole area especially this logo. His logo is, I just love his logo. I mean, when we printed that on one of the PC cases a long time ago, back in the day, it just came out so good. And then of course, look at this. Just look at all this good stuff. I mean, he's got the Master Chief helmet. I got the same one at home, love it. Um, but yeah, I'll probably definitely say the logo itself would definitely be my favorite piece. All right, y'all, so that is the end of this tour video. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on this tour with me. We're done, so I'm gonna crank out some 90s here real quick on the setup, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.